Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about a provincial park called Kakwa Provincial Park, British Columbia. This is a very unique uh, place to hike to, camp in, adventure in, because it's a provincial park that half borders on British Columbia and half borders on Alberta. And uh, here is the webpage for the actual provincial park. Uh, my wife sent me the link to this park uh, last weekend and really looks cool and you can see from the updates here this is one of those parks where um, you park at the trailhead and we'll get into all the details about how you access this park but you park at the trailhead and you should be surrounding your vehicle with chicken wire because porcupines have been known to chew on your brake lines your fuel lines stuff like that there's a lot of parks in BC that are like that where they advise the same thing. But uh, this, uh, this is a very unique park. Let's start off, uh, before I get into where it is and all that kind of thing and why it would be interesting to you, let's talk about, or let's actually look at some of the pictures from the uh, BC Parks website. I mean, guys, this is an epic looking park. I mean, you got caves and water running out of caves and just like glaciers and superb mountains all around you, lakes all around you. I mean, this is the stuff adventure is made of. Look at this stuff. I mean, some serious adventure screaming out at you. You know, really epic pictures. So looking at some of the stuff, it really kind of drew me to wanting to know more about this location. And because it's not too far from where I live, um, you know, I kind of did... I didn't go to the park, but I kind of went part of the way to the park to explore what it would be like if I wanted to do such a trip. And uh, yeah, I mean, looking at these pictures, you can see it does look pretty cool. So with that, um, let's talk a little bit about the uh, directions here. So here's a description. So essentially it says you can access the park either from the British Columbia side or the Alberta side. and. Uh, for our purposes, we're, we're coming from the British Columbia side. So if you come from uh, Prince George, you're going to have to drive, and that's where I'm coming from, you're going to have to drive about 135 kilometers to the east towards McBride. And if you're coming from the other direction, you'll have to go 70 kilometers west of McBride. And this, ultimately, you'll come to this forest service road called Walker Creek. Again, I'll show you the map and Google Earth and all that in a bit. But... Uh, Walker Creek Forest Service Road, and I'll show you a picture of where that, what that intersection looks like. Um, from there, you drive a bunch of kilometers across the Fraser River. There's a big bridge. There's a number of bridges, but this is the biggest one by far. That's at about five kilometers, and then another 32 kilometers. The road meets the McGregor River. Now, that's as far as I went. So I drove. I guess according to this, I drove about 37 kilometers, something like that. And, and then I turned around. And so it says here that at another uh, less than 10 kilometers after that, the road starts to get very rough. And in wet conditions, you need 4x4. Four four. But the truth is, honestly, guys, even this first 37 kilometers, eh, I would have a 4x4 four four with high clearance. Um, some of the things I went through this past weekend, yeah, I wouldn't want to go through that with any other vehicle other than something that has 4x4 four four and high clearance for sure. Um, anyway, so they say at kilometer 43 it starts to get rough. You keep going all the way up to kilometer 73 and then it meets Bastille Creek and you can't go beyond that. You just park there. Or actually no, it says, it says here um, public road ends at Buchanan Creek. That's interesting. That's very interesting. All right, so I, I did not realize that. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm doubting that you're going to go past Bastille Creek personally, but who knows. So let's take a look here. Most people say that it's a 30-kilometer um, bike or walk. So I'm assuming that you'll have to stop at Bastille Creek. Um, so let's take a look at 
at this point. I'll do a quick look at the map here. So this is Highway 16 right down here. There is a Forest Service Road, Walker Forest Service Road. I drove to about this location here. Um, where the McGregor River meets this logging road. And uh, I'm going to show you some pictures and stuff. But you continue, you drive to here. Now, technically speaking, I think they said you can't go past here, that you're not allowed to have elect or motorized vehicles. But uh, I don't think you can really get much further with, with the vehicle here. Most people that I've read about online, they either hike or, or mountain bike the rest of it. And it's 30 kilometers to get from this area here to, uh, is that the lake there? Yeah, I believe it is, to Kakwa Lake right here. And this is where all the camping is. And just, you can see snow peaks, super epic in this area. It's pretty remote. You can see here on the side, this is the border of British Columbia and Alberta. Lots of really cool mountains and lakes and things to see there. So we'll get back to that in a bit. Let's just take a quick look at the Google Earth view now. So I'll kind of zoom in a bit. So you can see here, this is Highway 16, and there's sort of a semi kind of sharp curve here. And right here, in this section here, you're gonna see there's like a stop sign for traffic coming off of Walker Creek. There's a little TELUS building. That's what this thing is right here. I think it's TELUS, some kind of like telephone um, utility thing. And then there's some signs over here. This is Walker Forest, Walker Creek uh, Forest Service Road, etc. Now, five kilometers in, you cross the Fraser, and you just keep on the main road. There's lots of side logging roads, but it is pretty obvious which road is the main one. Now, one thing I want to say is a little bit after the Fraser Bridge. Somewhere around here, you're going to see a little yellow sign that talks about Kakwa Lake Trail or something like that, maintained by some group. Shortly after that sign, it's pretty much potholes the entire rest of the way and some pretty rough road, uh, little areas where water's like flooded over from like beaver ponds right over the road. Um, not too deep, at least not last weekend, which would be like September... September the 5th wasn't too bad so like with 4x4 four four, even an SUV you get through it okay but you will have to go slow so it's going to take some time to get down this road and again you can see you cross over a number of creeks there's a lot of bridges that you cross over here guys um, and you keep going you keep going you keep going lots of mountain views gorgeous views as you go down this road and let's talk a little bit so I made it right to this corner it becomes very obvious here you basically see these you see this giant mountain here from a distance as you're approaching coming down the road here and then you just see like the McGregor River here there's a pullout on the side there's a little kind of a landing there that you can see all this plains where the water floods and everything and a uh, couple things here on this corner there's a little uh, area hidden in the bushes where you have some like a fissure of rocks and at the base of that there's this cool little spring pond or something that's probably I, I'm six foot two and this pond is probably up to my shoulder so it's pretty deep pretty awesome so uh, look for that when you're coming around this corner and past that fissure where there's that little uh, deep cove of water then you have a waterfall coming down this mountain as well. There's a really cool waterfall. And as soon as you come further around the... We're out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, this is, what's it called? Something, anyway, I forget. It's a Forest Service road that goes to Kakwa Provincial Park. I think very shortly here, it turns to the right mountain there. I think the McGregor River runs in here. And 
we came a lot of kilometers down here. I'm not sure the exact count, I think 30 or 40, something like that. We're out here, Walker Creek Forest Service Road. Uh, on the highway, you'll see a little TELUS building or whatever, and you'll know that that's where you gotta turn. Plus there's a sign there. But this is the spot where it goes, turns from going north to going east. And what do you have here on the left-hand side? You've got the McGregor River. There's a little pullout up here. It takes the dog for a walk. But it's pretty epic here, guys. Nice spot. The views are absolutely stunning. Way out here in the wilderness of BC. Some kind of rock cliffs there and a gorgeous mountain. And uh, a little surprise. So right at this turnaround up here, you're gonna see a waterfall. So again, right as you turn from going north to east, gorgeous waterfall, really beautiful. Goes under a culvert, pops out right down there. So that little mossiness, I thought I better check this out because it looks pretty epic. Guys, check this out. Check it out. That's like over my head deep in there. This is like totally wild. Totally wild. There's a little trail. The culver, just follow it. You should see this. It's like pretty cool here, guys. I just wish this camera could show how deep this water is. This water, okay, I don't think it's over my head, but it's probably up to my shoulders. It is so deep. It just, right here, just drops right off. Pretty cool. Only this were a hot spring. All right, so this is that uh, whatever Forest Service Road going to Kakwa Provincial Park. Right here at this turn, McGregor River. Absolutely stunning view here, guys. And by the way, right there, there's a waterfall right there. Just two seconds. Absolutely stunning waterfall. Gorgeous mountains. Stunning peaks. And I mean, I think that's Kakwa Provincial Park over there. Absolutely gorgeous. This is backcountry camping. <laughs>